It's pretty dark out today. Happy Christmas! <laughs> okay, I've opened the curtains now. Can you tell it's cold? Two jumpers, dressing gown. Anyway, today I'm going to uh, attempt to do what I meant to do yesterday, but didn't bother doing in the end because it got quite late. And it is, well, I'll show you. Got this tripod. We have, ah, where's Maddie's camera? Even though it has this kind of um, narrow view lens on it, um, sort of portrait lens, I was thinking of trying to set it up like I had in a video recently, where it was just us. So the tripod will be there, we'd be there on the sofa, just in case, you know, if we ever wanted to sit and chat or just generally when we do those videos in the evenings, I'd actually forgotten that I owned a little microphone uh, that I took to Thailand with me, in fact, because I was thinking that I might have maybe started doing some sort of gaming videos while I was there, because I figured if I'm going to game a lot, why not film it and upload it to YouTube? But I didn't bother in the end. I actually wanted to have a gaming channel years and years ago before, before I even left school. When was it? It must have been back just after I did my GCSE, so when I was 16. So nearly 10 years ago was when I wanted to do a gaming channel, but I didn't understand the technology or how to record while you were playing. I kind of wish I'd actually bothered to learn and actually stuck with it, that would have been pretty fun. But never mind. my friend messaged me the other day saying he'd been watching a few of the videos. Hi Ben. He sent me a video of like uh, DIY filming and cinematography hacks and there's a video of someone, you know like how they have a boom mic in movies that will just be just over the shot with the microphone so it picks up everything clearly. Um, he sent a video recommending something like that where you can use like a, a broom handle or some kind of pole like that and attach it and have it just out of shot or even put it in shot to see if that would work compared to having, you know, 150 pound mic uh, right on top of the camera. So I'm gonna try that. I might, I don't think we really have a, a broom or a handle or anything like that, unfortunately. Maybe I could just buy a cheap mop in Poundland and snap it, snap it off. <laughs> I'll maybe just do some audio tests or something with this. Um, Cause I don't, it's a cheap, it's a pretty cheap microphone to be fair. So I don't know if it'll actually be any better than the built-in microphone. Perhaps if it was closer to us when we talk, in a room this big, it wouldn't sound so echoey. So I'm gonna try that now. I've also got this camera on a little tripod um, that I got Maddie a couple of years ago. So it should make the shots a bit steadier and reduce the horrible noises that happen when you try and turn the camera around with your hands. When you're kind of touching the microphone and moving the screen up and down. It's, uh, yeah, it's horrible to edit. So hopefully this should fix that. So, I believe it's in here, oh there it is. That was easy. It's this, this cheaper microphone I got, but it got good reviews, so I figured I'd spend a smaller amount on a microphone to see how it was, rather than spend 50 pounds on a microphone I may not need or even use. Oh. Good start. I don't know why I screwed that in. There we are. Now this is a camera Maddie used way back when she started, before she had a, a Canon G7X. She had this one, but as you can see it's, you know, it's just an SLR. It has this, the screen doesn't come out, and it doesn't have autofocus but it does have a record mode. There we are. As you can see, it's so zoomed in, it's just looking at the gray of the wall. So I want to try and fix that. I've set it up. I think that means it's recording. I don't know if I press that. Right, it doesn't even have like a second timer counter. So if I go over here. Maybe I'll try speaking like this on this camera and using the audio footage from that camera. See how that sounds. It has to be all the way, all the way over there, right at the side of the, the edge of the room by the window, just to get me in, maybe two people. And now I'll try it with the mic. Here we go, up. Oh, there we go. Slightly tricky with one hand. Okay, so it appears I've been a foolish fool. I assumed, being a DSLR, it would have a mic in, a little jack to put your microphone in. I thought that's what that was. If you can see it just there, 
but no, I've misread the label there. I think that's more of a, what you call it? You plug in a remote control type thing, so you can sort of take pictures. I guess like how a selfie stick works. Don't quote me on that. I thought because it had this sort of hot shoe, it would be able, you know, it's got a flash built in and it's got a hot shoe, so surely that would be for a microphone, but apparently not. Alternative solution is to plug it into my laptop and use a program like Audacity to just sync up the audio. Not the end of the world, and that means I can get the microphone closer when we actually chat. I'll see how it goes. Okay, I think that sounds all right. It's not ideal, but I think it's worth a go. One of the things that bugs me the most about video editing is microphone and audio quality a lot of the time. So I think I'll test it out later with Maddie. But you are probably incredibly bored of hearing me prattle on about cameras and microphones. So I'm gonna go make breakfast here in the dark kitchen and get on with the day. Okay, so this is all our frozen bananas. Note to self, we've already gone through a bag. Don't buy as many bananas in the future because you end up freezing them and they end up getting a little bit gross. But to be fair, those bananas were only, so like 12 pounds for nearly 20 kilos. But there is, let me show you. Got those in there. Got ones underneath in a Tupperware box. They're the ones we should be eating really, because I actually need to use that Tupperware box because it's the only one that can fit huge amounts of leftovers in. I'll just let them defrost a little bit. Otherwise it just makes a sort of huge banana slushy when you try and blend it. Can't believe it took us a month to figure this out. Well, Maddie did it. We were thinking the curtains always cover the radiator and it felt like we were just losing heat. If we do that, we keep the heat in and we get the full whack of the radiator by the bed. Nice one, Mads. Do you like my trousers today? These are my old work trousers. I think I forgot to wash my tracksuit bottoms. Ugh. The trousers I washed before we left on, must have been like Wednesday. When I came back on Sunday, it was still wet, so I couldn't wear them today. I'll dry now. Oh, they'll be dry now, I know. Fortunately, these white trousers are so comfy. Do you want a hoodie? Yes, please. They're so comfy, that's why I always wore them to work. And they're stretchy and they're warm. I've got five layers on now. It should be impossible for me to be cold outside, shouldn't it? No. Maddie's just rocking her hat that she this borrowed. This is my sister's hat, but it's so big. Normally when you wear a hat, you can't um, wear it if you've got a bun. Yeah. So my hair's up mm -hmm. under here. So it's like my bun is here, but the hat fits over it. Can I squish it? Yeah. So it's great, and it even, it's even so big it could literally just go over my whole face. Yeah, where'd Charlie, you get it? can I have his hat? <laughs> yeah, Charlie, uh, in the next video, Maddie loses it, so... Yeah. yeah. How many layers have you got on I that? need some halves now. You've got four layers on, haven't you? Yeah. Prepare to be cold, I've got five layers. <laughs> five layers is where it's at. These really fashionable gloves now. I think I'm going to start wearing my cycling gloves, because they're warm, and I can use my touchscreen phone with them. No, this is where it's at, these proper ones. Yeah, but they're, they're a bit clunky. Okay. You can't do stuff with them. Burr. Five layers still wasn't enough, eh? No. Is that? Oh, that's not it. No tofu. Well, we're not going to have it tonight, are we? If, gonna, if they have any out of back. Yeah, poo poo. Poo poo, jalapeno. Oh, it's not in the meal, though, is it? Jalapeno? Two for two. Yeah, it is. Moroccan. Oh, what fl you pick? What flavours do you want? Seeded. What have you seen that? You can try that if you want. Tah more tahini and sesame seeds. Pumpkin seeds. I mean, that's just. They just uh, pop some seeds on top of it. Jalapeno. Yeah. Jalapeno, okay. Yes. You see that one on the right? It's darker, so uh, it's hotter. It says on it. Which one should we get? Ooh. No, normal. I think normal is good Because I enough. prefer having more of it and making it saucy yeah, yeah. than having a small amount. Because I like to whack like loads yeah. of it on it. Look. They have vegan diet buttons. Do we need them? No, but I want them. I want everything, but can we afford it? Yes. <laughs> Are you recording me? Yeah. Are you trying to bankrupt us? Let's get to this flavour because it's just better. Following Quaker Gate, for those of you who are following along with Quaker Gate, Quaker Gate, yeah, look, this apparently is that. That, look at that dusty porridge. Apparently, this rolled oats. It's just not the, not the case. So, a lot of you said to get flavins. 
They're porridge oats. I want rolled oats. What's the Where difference? They're like more thinly ground. They don't seem to have any. You want any. the big jumbo ones? But I don't want to get... I, out of principle, I'm not buying Quaker. So well, you won't get the ones you want if you buy Quaker oats, will you? I'm sure I'd seen it here so last time. I. I know they have it in Sainsbury's, but not here. They have it in Sainsbury's, yeah. Unless it's one of these that are out of stock over here. Okay, I look horrendous, but... A lot of people, when I made a video recently, or a while back, with what I ate today, featuring some rolled oats, I said, it's really hard to find good rolled oats in England. And lots of people were like, oh no, it's really easy, like, you can buy rolled oats everywhere. You really can't. It's so difficult. Like, you'd think that they'd have a section of, like, healthy foods, and oats would be, like, the main staple food, but they only have porridge oats. Wait, they look like whole. They're jumbo. Here we are. They're just named different. I was about to say, normally the organic ones are jumbo. Yes, you can but see through it. They didn't look like Yeah, because it, it says porridge oats, which usually refers to instant oats, but it says underneath it, whole rolled jumbo oats, and you can see through. Okay, I've got them. And they're cheap. They're 160. Cheaper than Quaker. Yay. <laughs> yes. My favouritist section. Raspberries and mixed fruits. Raspberries? Uh, yeah. Blackberries, blueberries, hmm, blueberries, mango, mango. So, oh, they got, ooh, not for now, but for another time, maybe. Oh, yeah, they look good. Although you don't like peanut. Mm, yeah. Uh, the... And the nut cutlass. Oh, I would eat all these. Mm. What about these? Oh, they're not. No, these I are. Like the you got the, the bean burgers? Yeah. Okay. Pretty successful shop. I think Maddie will agree. Yeah. But everything we want, actually, no, we didn't get the tofu or potatoes. But I'm coming back tomorrow to get them because I've got to head to the Royal Mail office again. So do I, though. So does Maddie, though. But can't I take your ID or something? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, give it a go. Save we'll give it a go. Time. I'm going to end up going twice, aren't I? Yeah. Oh no, I'll go once. And then I'll come back and make you go. Yeah. Okay. That's better. Sure is a cold one today. Yeah! My hands are... Yeah, I should have worn gloves. You uh, didn't wear gloves! Nope. So this is my creation this evening. You may remember it from almost every other time I've cooked in this flat. A chickpea, what was it? Jalfrezi? Madras. Just gonna upload the video before we eat. Would you reckon good thumbnail? Yeah. I like it. Look how cute it is. Woohoo! Advent calendar time. Do you want yours or have you had it? What am I on today? Eight. And nine. Right. Hello there. Maddie? Mad? What do you reckon? Do you think this microphone will be better than your camera mic? No. No? No. Okay. What do you think? Vote here. And with that, I'll bid you good night. I wish you a restful night's sleep from Vlogmas Day 12. 12 down, 12 to go.